a studio monitor with a difference using the highest quality components available today and with a direct sales model that saves you money and future proof too you can always trust your mum welcome to the modular upgradable monitor But this thing sounds stupid good. I mean, like the the stereo image is like wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they've they've got everything. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah. I'm I'm really um, impressed with the fact that well, there's a lot of stuff in these that that ain't been do done sure. previously. I'm James. And I'm Mark. And between us, we have over 45 minutes of experience yeah. in pro audio. <laughs> it is. And between us, we have over 45 years of experience in pro audio and have been working together in our own studio complex for a decade. We are present day production and we are passionate about bringing audio into the 21st century whilst giving a nod to traditional studio workflows when necessary. But with so many studio monitors on the market, why did we feel it necessary to build our own? Back in 2021, we got very excited about the new creative possibilities Dolby Atmos for Music offered us and knew that we wanted to make the leap into the format and as we're both used to working on very high-end monitoring systems, decided we could save a fortune if we developed our own. And we didn't have an accounting department to please, so we set about sourcing the best speaker drivers available in the world today, powered by some of the most highly regarded DSP and Class D amplification. And that journey is documented in a mini-series we published a couple of years ago. The link's in the description. But things have moved on somewhat since then, and as clients came into the studio and heard what we'd built, they started asking us if we could make them a pair. Whilst our initial painted MDF enclosures were fine for our needs, we wouldn't have been happy selling those to others, so we redesigned the cabinets and, confident we'd sourced the most accurate and detailed mid-drivers and tweeters currently available, levelled up the low end with the Purify PTT8 subjectively and measurably the best performing 8-inch bass driver available in the world today. And thus was born the MUM 8. The MUM 8 is a three-way fully active design in an acoustic suspension cabinet or sealed enclosure for stunningly fast and accurate low end with incredibly low distortion and none of the artifacts, bass reflex and other loading principles can often display. The only real downside to a sealed enclosure is traditionally lack of efficiency as you're trying to eliminate the energy coming from the back of a speaker cone rather than utilising it. But technology has moved on and that compromise is all but eliminated with the incredible performance of this bass drive especially when powered by 250 watts of pure, clean, Hypex Class D power. Indeed, Purify went back to the drawing board when developing this, and there are many groundbreaking design elements going on under the hood in the motor assembly, but one very noticeable breakthrough is immediately apparent, the shape of the roll surrounds. During development, Purify measured significant distortion coming from the traditional half roll surround as the radiating area changed in the shape as the cone moved in and out. This has been largely overlooked or ignored by driver designers for decades, but Purify chose to address it. The result is the complicated design that we see in both the MUM 8 and the MUM 6 base drivers that retain the same radiating surface area throughout the driver's linear excursion, which in the case of the MUM 8 is a staggering plus or minus 9.3 millimeters. But it's not all about the base, is it? Further up the band, the quality of the Bleesman mid-range driver and tweeter are instantly apparent with their immense clarity, inaudible noise floor and uncannily sharp stereo image focus. The Mummy is an incredibly revealing and analytical monitor that immediately lays all the elements of a mix naked and exposed. You almost feel you ought to be able to reach into Mark, the stereo image and... Are you reading that from the Sound on Sound review? No. Stanislav Malakov of German company Bliesma is an astounding transducer designer. 
The company currently only makes dome mid drivers and tweeters and they are quite simply the best we've ever heard. An increased level of clarity and detail is almost always the first thing our Mum8 users comment on, even those coming from big brands that are well known for their levels of clarity and detail. The Silk variants are a good starting point for most tracking and mix engineers, but for the ultimate in ruthless accuracy and translation, we offer a beryllium upgrade. And forget any preconceived ideas you might have about metal domed drivers. These are not harsh or fatiguing in the least with tapered domes that offer stiffness at the base where it's needed, but are only microns thick at the top. Quite simply, the most natural and detailed sound you could hope for. Tiny changes in compression become immediately obvious with these and initially getting a good mix can be a challenge as they take no prisoners. The bad sounds bad, but the exceptional sounds exceptional. And it's not just the upgradability of the mid drivers and tweeters that make the Mum 8 the modular upgradable monitor. This, we believe, is the first studio monitor featuring an easily removable and rack mountable amplifier pack. The practical implications of this mean that you can use the speakers with their amp packs mounted on the back, or you can take them off so you can soffit mount the speakers or position them where it might not be possible to easily run mains and signal cables, and then place the amplifiers in a standard 19 inch rack. But it also means that as DSP and Class D technologies improve, and they are all the time, you can swap out the amplifiers in the future for the latest technology for far less cost and inconvenience than having to replace your whole monitoring system. Another change we made for the production design was to switch from MDF to Valchromat. This material offers many advantages over MDF. Firstly, it's around 30% denser and far more inert. It's also coloured the whole way through and eliminates the cost and environmental impact of traditional paint finishing. It's also manufactured entirely from organic materials. Tree pulp sourced and recycled from sustainable materials and even the resins that bond it together are entirely organic and contain no VOCs or other harmful compounds. It's far easier to machine and easily repairable should it become scratched or damaged. It's also available in a wide range of colours. Watch the live stream where Mark built a Mum 8 for a deep dive into cabinet construction. Another aspect that makes the Mum unique is our direct sales model. This saves you, the end user, distribution and retail markups and brings a pair of mums in at around half the price they would be if we'd chosen to go with traditional supply chain models. Now the downside to this can be that you don't have a local retailer you can turn to for support, but most retailers only have one shop these days anyway and they're more than likely to refer customer support issues to us as they have so many products to deal with. And so support is directly with us, either James or myself. We don't have an anonymous call centre or support ticket based web support, you contact us directly and we reply. And because of that one-to-one -one contact, a lot of our customers have become friends and we like that. We know where our babies are going, but many of our users are also becoming our retailers, our mum ambassadors, and offering demos to potential customers in territories we can't easily reach. We are paying them a commission on any sales they generate. And in fact, there are a couple of users that have pretty much paid for their own mums already as they've excitedly had potential customers into their studios to check them out and again, we like that. It's a different way of doing things and many users have also made excellent new networking contacts through doing this. It's like social media, but you know, actually meeting people in the real world, physically and talking to them. One question we were asked a lot in 2023 was, when are you going to release a smaller, cheaper two-way model for smaller studios? And so we set to work on the Mum 6. We asked you whether you wanted a rack mount amplifier or a traditional style plate amp in the back, and you said amplifier in the back. So that's what we did. 
still with the same Hypex power behind it. And we use a six and a half inch version of the purified base driver with the same silk or beryllium tweeter as found in the MUM8. The Purify base drivers perform exceptionally well up into the mid-range with their clever magicery minimizing intermodulation distortion. So this makes for a very compact two-way design that retains the tonality and super low distortion of the MUM8 in a much smaller package, but still with that same punchy, fast, dynamic low end. They're also a great solution for Dolby Atmos. We've got them on our ceiling, so if you want to pan a bass drum up there, you can. But there's a trick up the MUM6's sleeve. We're currently developing a sub slash bass extender that will be capable of transforming the MUM6 in a number of ways. You can use it as a traditional sub for extended low frequency response and a higher SPL from the whole system, but you will also be able to order a pair without the six and a half inch bass drivers, pop the ones in from your MUM6, and then add either the silk or beryllium mid driver with an adapter ring, making this what we believe to be the world's first studio monitor that is upgradable from a two-way to a fully active three-way and the base cabinets will be at just the right height to act as stands for the MUM6 so again perfect for small rooms or Dolby Atmos systems. So what's next? Well we're working on an even smaller even cheaper model specifically intended for Dolby Atmos use that's only a hundred millimeters or four inches deep but there's some work to do with the MUM8 first. Sound on Sound gave the MUM8 a very positive review in the April 2024 edition, and there's a link to that in the description down below, but the only con in the pros and cons box was tonal balance needs tweaking. Now, Phil's measurements were very different to ours, which are far flatter, as can be seen here from the before curve from our Trinov Nova, but he's been doing it a lot longer than we have, and so we trust his judgment entirely and can use this feedback as an opportunity to improve. Our measurements were taken in a room, and so were Phil's, albeit a much bigger room, but even with steps taken to minimise the effect of said rooms, a room is still a room, and so we need some independent third-party anechoic data from either a facility with a large anechoic chamber, or a company such as Clipple, who developed their near-field scanner technology for just such measurements. And we've reached out to those third parties already based on the feedback from the Sound on Sound review and want to make that happen as quickly as possible so that we can refine the DSP even further and then publish the full set of measurements on our website and make a video about it because it's interesting stuff. So that's the next step and of course it's the modular upgradable monitor so any improvements that happen now or in the medium or the long term will be able to roll out to existing customers. There's no need for a Mark II. So this has been a fascinating and fun journey for us. We've learned an awful lot so far and that learning journey continues. But the most satisfying part for us has been taking them out into the world and setting them up in our customer studios. And I think we've personally delivered pretty much every pair in the UK. Feedback from our customers has been fantastic and some have even bought multiple pairs for multiple rooms, replacing far more expensive big brand models. That's fantastic feedback for us if you want to find out more then contact us via the website at presentdayproduction.com we'd love to welcome you to the mum community you can also join us on discord all the links are in the description down below thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and ding the ding dong if you haven't already and you'll see us in the next one this is good. <laughs> <laughs> what was that <laughs> right, scroll it back. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Right. <laughs> it's entirely your fault, that one.